I can already tell you in this episode, there's going to be a moment, and it's going to be underneath a fir tree. Because the title is called Underneath the Fir Tree. I love moments underneath trees. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode 18 of Toradora. We're in Christmas time. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. I'll really say that. Like, it's crazy. All these character relationships are just intermingling. In, uh, like, you know what I'm It's just a, literally a web of love with pre uh, not prepubescent, with going through puberty, hormone filled teens. And it's crazy. It's literally crazy. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to hop into this. Remember, guys, I forgot to mention this last time, but certain shows like Toradora cannot be put on YouTube. Remember to click the link in the description for the reaction, then come back here for the review. If you guys want to support me and early access and full length of this show, all of the shows I'm watching, consider checking out that Patreon below. If you guys still want to support, Patreon is not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really helps push me out there into the algorithm, helps put my faces in front of a lot of other people. So I really, really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the streams and for the updates. I appreciate y'all. Let's hop into this Toradora episode 18. <sighs> I'm going to try to talk about this episode while keeping it together. It's just, it's so, it's so like, it's so good, man. It just really is. Like I, I truly believe and when it comes to the taiga, especially what she said last episode, that if she could, she would go buck naked in order for someone else to have, you know, her clothes or whatever, to, to feel that happiness. Because, you know, it's true, man. Christmas is a time where you're supposed to feel like you're connected to somebody. Whether that be, whether you haven't had parents, whether you haven't had family, you know, friends. There's, hopefully there's somebody, at least one person, that's really all you need in life. There's one real person, you know, looking out for you. And uh, it just, it, it's so good, you know, she worked with these kids that were less fortunate and she she doesn't know exactly how they feel because she's well off you know but she knows in terms of a relative how they feel like not having that person to, to talk to be connected with you know oh i'm gonna start crying again i gotta end the episode here guys i'll talk to you later peace out y'all